in a household in the German city of Cologne. A family of Kyrgyz descent is enjoying some of their native products for dinner. Atyom Kichigin from the Kyrgyz company Bishkek Expo is in Cologne on business and is paying the family a visit. He wants to try out his newly developed range of cooking oils. He is proud that he is now able to trade in his product on the international market as well. It is a long flight back to Kyrgyzstan, a fascinating country characterized by mountains and high pastures. Independent for more than 25 years since the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the country is still in transition. In Artyom's homeland, a slight upturn can be felt. However, the living standard of the 6 million Kyrgyz is low and underemployment is high. The economy needs new impetus. Almost 1 million people inhabit Bishkek, the capital of Kyrgyzstan. Young people in particular are drawn to the modern metropolis. Many see their future either here or abroad. Many efforts are required at different levels for Kyrgyzstan to have a successful future and for personal living conditions to improve. On behalf of the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, BMZ, the German Corporation for International Cooperation, GIZ, is supporting Kyrgyzstan in creating sustainable employment and better income opportunities for its young population. The foundation for this is BMZ's integrated employment approach. This approach contributes to achieving the SDG 8, that is to promote sustainable economic growth and decent work for all. In close cooperation with the Kyrgyz government and the domestic private sector, the country's economic policy framework is being geared towards promoting employment. In addition, jobs are being created and job seekers are given future-oriented training and continued education. Demand and supply are brought together through matching. Permanent and increased employment opportunities are consequently being generated by this triad of advantageous framework conditions, increased demand for and improved employability of employees. Young people find it difficult to see any prospects in rural areas. Therefore, incentives must be created to make agricultural occupations more attractive. Farmers, especially young ones, are thus being trained as agricultural advisors in fruit cultivation. In addition to pruning techniques, they also learn the proper use of organic plant protection agents. The newly trained advisors can then offer their services to other farmers. The business is worthwhile, as use of the new techniques significantly increases yields and reduces diseases. For Kyrgyz products to be sold on the international market as well, emphasis must be placed on their quality as well as their diversity. Methods of preservation, such as the drying of fruits, had to be optimized, so that the goods could withstand long transport routes without any loss in quality. For export, especially of organic products, offers higher revenues and raises awareness of Kyrgyz products. But adherence to quality standards is not the only element improving the farmer's situation. GIZ also promotes the productivity of profitable individual farms, farmer cooperatives and differently organized smaller farms. After all, to operate on the international market, the businesses must also be able to supply products in sufficient quantities. Although 30% of the population work in this sector, Kyrgyzstan's agriculture contributes only about 16% to the gross domestic product due to its low productivity and mostly small size of farms. As a result, many young people are leaving the countryside, seeking their fortune in the cities or abroad. 
Therefore, the rural communities are happy about every exception. I am a service class, and I am a tractor. I am a season. I am a season. I am a season. The freshly harvested plums are prepared for export at the company Farmers Organic Garden in the village of Iris. They mostly go to Turkey. Processing that is controlled according to international standards and the certified organic quality of the products enable the company to trade internationally. More export and higher productivity lead to increasing employment figures and more income. Here at Farmers Organic Garden, reliable workers are more in demand than ever before. A positive cycle and a win-win situation. Связи внедрением системы у нас увеличился рабочие места. Если он раньше работало где-то около 50 человек, сейчас в настоящее время работает 100 человек. Уже 100 человек мы можем использовать как им дать рабочие места, чтобы они могли зарабатывать у нас деньги. Постоянными работниками у нас 35 человек является. Кроме этого, постоянно у нас 65, которые временно, сезонно производят выпускаемые продукты. Мы нанимаем их. И в течение года бывает, что постоянно иногда некоторые работники, в которые мы можем постоянно привлекать к этой работе. И, соответственно, за это оплачивается. In addition to dried plums and fresh tomatoes, many other products, especially dried fruits, are sold abroad under the Mira brand. Young women and men between the ages of 18 and 24 represent one-third of the population in Kyrgyzstan and play a key role in the country's future. Therefore, national partners with support from GIZ are working on implementing a youth policy that promotes young people's economic and social integration as well as their active participation. At the same time, it is important to intensify cooperation concerning youth promotion between those responsible at national and local levels as well as between state and non-state actors. At career and startup centers, young people learn the necessary know-how and are motivated to actively contribute to the national economic power. Sultan Sabalayev attended seminars at the startup center in Jalalabad. Right after graduating, he founded a small startup company that takes up the environmental aspect, a courier service on two wheels. Как раз школа открывается в стартап центре туда хотим идти еще раз продолжать обучение еще раз хотим улучшить этот же проект потому что мотивационные встречи побольше как бы успешными людьми стартап центр сейчас еще приглашает новых спикеров успешных людей по всему Кыргызстану и нам бы хотелось бы еще учиться в стартапе и мы решили мы не будем останавливаться мы будем работать и еще пойти в стартап центр потому что нам еще необходимое знание People like Sultan Zabalayev are the future of the country. His example shows that it is a great way to create incentives and opportunities for young Kyrgyz to use their potential in their own country instead of leaving for labor migration. Back to Artyom Kichigin from the company Bishkek Expo, who we met briefly at the beginning. He seized his opportunity and completed his degree as a food technologist at the State Technological University of Kyrgyzstan in Bishkek. The study program at the Faculty for Food Technology was adapted to international standards by GIZ, and the training laboratories were equipped with the latest technology to enable practice-oriented training and impart modern production conditions. Вы находитесь в лаборатории технологии мяса и мясных продуктов. На данный момент сейчас у нас проходит занятие лабораторное по курсу или по модулю наука о функциональном питании. То есть общая задача этого занятия заключается в том, что студенты наши разрабатывают такие рецептуры мясных продуктов, в данном случае котлет, с лучшими функциональными свойствами. 
Graduates of this program are almost guaranteed a well-paid job. Therefore, investing in good education is rewarded on the job market. Companies with modern leadership and international orientation give young career entrants a chance of fulfillment. Мои практические навыки очень помогли мне стать более конкурентоспособной на рынке труда, так как я могла получить работу в престижной развивающейся компании. To facilitate the export of Kyrgyz products, it is not just production and education that must meet international standards. Favorable framework conditions for international trade must also be ensured. Therefore, Kyrgyzstan is working with GIZ to implement the International Agreement on Trade Facilitation. It is supported by the World Trade Organization and came into force in February 2017 to help developing countries in particular to simplify procedures for international trade. These also include customs formalities. И, конечно, упрощение процедур торговли, оно ну, напрямую влияет, я считаю, на трудоустройство людей, потому что чем меньше денег бизнес тратит на, какие на преодоление каких-то административных ну, и технических барьеров, тем больше денег он может вложить в развитие инфраструктуры или в найм новых сотрудников для того, чтобы расширить свое влияние на рынке. Мы заинтересовались этим соглашением, мы узнали, что это за соглашение, уже пошли с готовыми четкими вопросами Министерства экономики и Мы активно совместно с экспертами GIZ работали над планом действий, мероприятий по реализации этого соглашения. И в ближайшие пять лет мы уже четко-четко с конкретными мероприятиями будем действовать и упрощать процедуры торговли, в котором заинтересован именно малый и средний бизнес, потому что у нас очень ограниченные ресурсы. Certified export products and facilitated framework conditions for foreign trade are one part of the concept to boost the economy. National startups that work mostly with domestic products are another. Young entrepreneur Indira Temekanova used GIZ funding to expand her catering company Kelinna Chas. Kelinna Chas means temporary daughter in law. The company pursues a catering concept that focuses not only on maximum customer proximity, but also on exceptional quality. Before each order, Indira goes to the market and buys fresh local products. She insists that as much as possible of what she and her staff prepare comes from her own country. Another philosophy of Kelin Nachaz is that they prefer to hire young women who have previously had no chance to realize their professional potential. The catering business offers on-the-job training, work experience and certificates, and thus further career prospects. Социальная сторона нашего проекта очень важен, я считаю, потому что, как я уже сказала, да, в рамках Красной речки, на самом деле это площадка для женщин, которые не смогли реализовать себя, не смогли пройти обучение, например, по тем же семейным обстоятельствам они упустили вот этот момент, но у них есть возможность обучиться в профильном направлении для, на повара, на кондитера, на официанта. Да? То есть если даже они перестанут у нас работать, у них будет документ, который они обучились, и они обучились, и они прошли сертификацию. Indira places great importance on direct contact with customers, and she is particularly concerned about demonstrating the diversity of using local products. The relaxed atmosphere at the family celebrations and the customer satisfaction with the work of the staff at Kelina Chaz prove her point. At Bishkek Expo, a company manufacturing spices, dried fruits and cooking oils, Atyom Kitchigin, our food technologist who we have accompanied from the start, has developed his own line of cooking oils. It is based on natural ingredients from Kyrgyzstan. 
Together with his lecturers at the State Technological University of Kyrgyzstan, Atyom was able to develop his product, bring in his know-how at Bishkek Expo, and expand the Imperial Oil product line for the company. His idea? In order to qualitatively ensure an international standard, the oils are produced with certified machines from Germany and are verified with the latest laboratory technology known from the university. Во-первых, когда мы закончили процесс внедрения, мы пригласили не местный орган по сертификации, а международный, это ТЮФ, ТЮФ Тюринген. И когда ты приглашаешь органы такого уровня, если они подтверждают то, что ты действительно сделал все верно, значит, и значит, значит на самом деле сделал все правильно, так, как должно быть. И это зачастую благодаря тому, что мы получаем такую возможность здесь, сегодня, использовать вот эти знания, вот эту возможность для того, чтобы применять ее и быть на одном уровне вот с какими-то европейскими международными даже компаниями. With his products of internationally recognized manufacture, Atyom can now go into the export with the Imperial Oil product line. He takes his first steps at Anuga, the world's largest trade fair for the food industry in the German city of Cologne, to introduce his product and attract international customers. And here we come full circle. Visiting our Kyrgyz family is a proud Atyom Kichigin. Proud of what he has achieved for himself and his country, Kyrgyzstan, with the support of GIZ, financed by BMZ from Germany. <laughs>